Now at New York City's Grand Central Station showing just how much life has changed in America's largest city. The governors of New York and California are preparing for what could be staggering percentages of their populations to contract the coronavirus. This afternoon, I spoke about that and more with Dr. Parham Eftakari. So, Dr. Eftakari, let's just start with, you know, everything going on right now. The governor of California has said he believes more than 50 percent of Californians will get sick. The New York governor has also said something similar about what's going on in his state. Is that really possible? Well, this is where social distancing is critically important. And I think that um, those, you know, keeping a distance and and um, avoiding this infection is is important. And I think in Florida, they've taken those precautions as of today, you know, as of last week, we've seen more and more closures because um, this virus can stay in the air for up to three hours. It stays on surfaces for days. So a doorknob, so you, you really, it is contagious. And, um, you know, um, I know New York spiked uh, today on the numbers and California is high. Uh, we're not quite there, but we wanna take precautions. We're here in South Florida. I'm sure you've seen a lot of the images and photos and videos that we're seeing of people still out uh, on the beaches until they just recently closed. Even as recent as of yesterday, people were out on their boats and uh, hanging out in the water. Well, I want to emphasize that I know when this, we, we always say the elders and those with comorbid conditions are higher risk, but we're still learning about different strains of this virus, just like influenza has different uh, strains and variations. I think in the coming months or weeks, we will find different strains and how lethal they are or how mild they are. And absolutely, the young can get affected by this. We've already seen um, the governor discuss uh, uh, close to 40% are, are less than 60, I believe, I heard. And so I, I the way I see it as a physician, everyone is at risk. and. We are learning so much about this virus uh, that we can't take that chance. You, you can really get sick, and, uh, and this is something that you, I think we have to be careful. And doctor, we're hearing a lot of young people who are getting it who aren't showing any symptoms at all. So is it possible that they could spread it and, and not even know that they have it? Absolutely. And unfortunately, we saw this with some of the living facilities um, um, that the governor had mentioned. Um, the scariest part to me as a physician about this virus is uh, the young or sometimes more are likely to be carriers and they can go to people's homes or be out and about and have no symptoms and still actively spread through surfaces, through the air, through cough as such, which highlights why we all as a nation and as a state need to take this so serious. And even for the people who are taking it seriously, they are social distancing, they are staying at home. Uh, you were saying that even when staying at home, there are things you can do to protect yourself. And it's something we're not seeing a lot of. I think this is, you know, I have a lot of diabetic hypertensive patients and I also take, uh, take care of some asthmatics as well in my practice. Uh, we have to understand first and foremost, patients with comorbid conditions are high risk. So you take care of your medical conditions, take care of your diabetes, take care of your asthma, COPD as such. Now, there is some anxiety or a lot of anxiety as we are staying home. So first of all, we're not walking, we're not working, we're not exercising as much as we would have. That in itself uh, leads to obesity, um, possibly uh, worsening diab diabetes and hypertension control. And what I want to just emphasize is take care of your health while you're bunkered down, meaning uh, avoid sugar eating, avoid alcohol heavy consumptions because you're anxious, avoid smoking because you're anxious, avoid um, eating junk foods, frozen foods that are not healthy because you want to prepare your immune system to battle this in case you get it. That is so important. A lot of good information there from Dr. Parham Eftakari. Now,